there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with another vintage haul from eBay. Uh, I've already opened it and looked at everything, so it's, there's not going to be any surprises for me. I was a little disappointed in the condition. One thing was completely broken. I don't know if it broke in shipping or what, but it's really messed up. And uh, some of the stones fell out and are running loose in a baggie and Otherwise, everything else is just pretty worn. But the good news is there are a couple of really nice pieces that I want to keep <laughs> that are going to get me my money back. So uh, I paid around about $95 for this lot, including tax and shipping and everything. So without further ado, let's get started and I'll show it to you. So here's an overall look of some of the pieces that I got. Um, there, I was looking over them again, and um, there's definitely enough here that I'll do okay on this lot. Um, I will contact the uh, seller and see what she has to say about the broken piece, though. But um, this piece, this is, it's um, not hand-painted, and it has these holes in it, these pinholes. And... It's really worn. I'd say this is probably a 1930s piece of costume jewelry. But I thought it might be fun to try to rehabilitate this. Not too much light coming in off the side here. Um, I could like fill the holes and touch up the paint just for fun, just as an exercise to see how well I can do with it. Because it's really kind of charming and it's a shame that it, I don't know how in the world it got those pinholes in it. Then this piece, um, I think that this is also 1930s, even though it has a C clasp. Just it's so big and ostentatious. This is a glass piece, and it has kind of an Art Deco look to it. But it's a great big sash pin of some kind. It's brass. And that's kind of fun. Uh, this appears to be a true Victorian piece with the chain tassel. And this one's in good condition. Um, well, my, no, it's not Victorian. I take it back. It's a Victorian revival. It's probably mid century. It's got, got the one piece pin. But it's very nicely done. If I hadn't seen the back, I would have been sure it was Victorian. That's cute, though. I like it. And that's a nice-looking cameo. Uh, I believe it's glass, like two pieces of glass and brass. And this is also a mid-century piece. You can see the pen is bent. But it's got the one-piece riveted pin. But it's still way cute. I like that a lot. Okay, and we have this. Multicolor rhinestone. Uh, this is almost certainly 1930s and um, possibly uh, Czech. But it does have all its stones. A couple of the stones are sitting a little crooked, but it's cute. Oh, it's not even a brooch, it's a pendant. <laughs> you can see the back's really kind of pretty. I like this one. Rainbow rhinestones. That's probably 1930s. Wow, what colors. And amazing that it still has all its stones. And they all look original, too. I don't think anything's been replaced. That's nice. They're all prong set. Prong set stones seem to last longer. And this is a sweet, 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 sweet little piece. Um, a little, uh, probably a 
memorial morning brooch. It has a mark on it. It says SD. And some, some other little tiny mark. But, oh, what a cute little boy. Okay, I've got this ginormous locket. Brass. Oh, no. It, is this brass? No, this is well, the back is copper for sure. I think maybe the cover is made of brass. Maybe it's two different metals. Let's see what it looks like inside. I don't know if I looked at the inside or not. Okay. Well, I think maybe it's copper covered in brass, maybe? I'm not sure. It's got quite a bit of wear, but... It's still really charming. It has a Victorian look to it. I don't know if it is or not. There we have a micro mosaic cross from Italy. I was quite disappointed to see that it's missing two stones. You know, I probably, I probably could have seen it in the pictures if I'd looked more closely. I try to look at things, but sometimes you just miss stuff. I'm debating about whether to try to replace those stones with something that would look equivalent. I think I might. Maybe um, maybe I could put a couple of like seed beads in there just as a place filler that would look better than empty sockets. It says Italy on the back. And then this is one of the pieces I really, really love. A little stretch bracelet with a engraved heart. It's tiny. I can wear it, but um, I have pretty small wrists. So it could be a child's bracelet or a very small grown-up woman. That's probably Victorian. And I think, is this one marked? Oh yes, this one has a lot of marks on it. Um, it says, Made in USA, Carmen, the DFB Company and Deluxe. Let's see if you can see. It's probably not going to focus on those. You can kind of see where it's marked a little bit. Okay, then we have a mother of pearl carved brooch from China. The man riding an ox in an ox cart. Um, just because it has a C clasp doesn't mean it's Victorian. They used C clasps probably right up until today. It, it could be any age, really. And this is a lovely hand painted Russian enamel brooch. Uh, paper mache probably and it is signed it's signed in uh, Cyrillic the last name seems to be something like Proika I forget what that one letter is in Mapera Something like that. Well, I don't know. I'll have to look into that one. Okay. Um, this is the one. So sad. This is the one that's broken. This, I think, was celluloid. Just snapped right in two. But that, is that so cute? It's a badge for some kind of organization. I haven't looked it up yet. A-U-K and D of, D of A is probably Daughters of America. Daughters of... No. No, I don't know. Take it back. I don't know how old this really is. Um, it's kind of a safety pin clasp. Um, but it's so cute, and I, I feel so bad. And then, this is another piece that's really, really, really damaged. Uh, this is the one that uh, I took it out of the baggie and there were five rhinestones at the bottom of the baggie, but 
you can see even some of the stones that have been replaced have been very badly matched. They're too big or too bright. Or This is, in fact, an Aurora Borealis stone. You can't really tell in this light. But that's not... This badge is... This badge. This um, pin is older than that. But it has the beautiful blue guilloche enamel. I think this one might be worth rehabilitating also. I just enjoy doing it so much. I love trying to fix things up. So I'll give that a go. I'll take out all the stones that don't fit. I have a bunch of rhinestones. I'll work on that. And this, I don't know what it is, but you can see that it's got all this glue coming through on it. It's like a, a beautiful piece of something that's been glued, just flat glued to this thing, which is, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Is it part of a, like a suspender or um, braces for socks or something? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's got these really nice clips, though. I think this may go in the craft pile. Okay, we have a pin, stick pin with a crown. Quite beautifully made. There's the back. And is it marked? I don't think so. I don't see any marks on it. I'm looking on the stem of the pin, but I don't see anything. Um, this is probably, this is really the reason I bought this. I was hoping it was going to be genuine, and it is not genuine gold or anything, but it is genuinely a Victorian hinged bangle. I'm trying to block the light just a little bit because it's too bright in here. Now, that's one thing or another. It's either too dark or too bright, but isn't that beautiful? And let me show you how I know it's authentic. Got, it's marked right there. It says patent and it says July 21st, 1874, H&B. I think I've had H&B jewelry before, but anyway, that's just so cool. It is like um, gold plated or gold washed or gold filled or something. You can see there's a, a little bit of wear right around the hinge, but it's, it's pretty light. And it's otherwise in pretty good condition. A little, few little scratches here and there, but ah, I just love that. Uh, got this pendant, which um, stone might be chalcedony. Don't know for sure. Seems to be brass. I love how the back is decorated. That's one of the thing, one of the clues that it might be Victorian because Victorians decorated areas that were never meant to be seen. I just love that. But that's cute. And then we have the last piece, which is a beaded bracelet. Um, I would guess this is from the 20s, but I don't know for sure. But maybe. But it's in really good shape and it's nicely done. Let's see what the thread looks like. It's done with like oh no. I think the thread may be plastic. In which case this is going to be a newer piece. Yep, yeah it is. So that is not antique. But it could be as early as say the 60s or 70s. It's very nice. Okay. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Um, these items are or soon will be for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. And if you're interested in any of the pieces and you don't see them listed, you can let me know. I'll make a special effort to uh, get them listed for you in a timely manner. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do these haul videos on a pretty regular basis, and I also do uh, 
my vintage reseller vlogs where I just show you what I'm doing day to day, what I'm selling, what I'm listing, what I'm eating, where I'm going, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, that's it. So have a great day, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye.